Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a few minutes and show you how to diagnose a uh, internet connection that's broken and not working. So first thing we have to try to figure out is where the connection is broken. And I'm going to use a Windows 7 box for, my, for this uh, demonstration. I'm running Windows 7 64. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Start, and we're going to type in CMD, and click on that and pull up a uh, command prompt. And in this command prompt, we're going to type in the words IP config. Now what we're trying to do right now is to find out if your computer is talking to the router or not. Um, if you get a media disconnected, such as this right here, um, or if you get uh, for an IPv4 address, this is what we're looking at. If you get a 169 number in this area, that means you're usually not talking to the router at all and there's a connection problem between the router and uh, the computer. It could be a bad router, but um, the two devices are not talking. So the problem at that point is on your end. Um, now let's assume that uh, we do this test and we still don't have internet access. The next step uh, would be uh, to look at this default gateway here. And what we're going to do is we're going to ping that default gateway. And um, I get a reply here. So I am uh, talking to the gateway, which tells me that um, the router and my computer are talking fine. So um, if you're getting an IP address and you're um, uh, still not able to get on the internet, but you're able to ping the router, your router and the computer are talking fine, that part of the equation is okay. So the next step would be, um, if you don't get a reply here, you could try resetting your router. If you're getting an IP address, but not a reply from the gateway, that's usually a router that's failing. Uh, you could try turning off your router and back on, that might fix the problem. The uh, Let's assume for a minute that um, you've gotten this far, but you're still not getting on the internet. Uh, so now we're going to go to try to ping a server that's actually located on the internet. And uh, we're going to ping 4.2.2.2. And uh, I am getting a reply here. If you were not getting a reply, um, but you were talking to the router, then more than likely your internet connection itself is broken down. At that point, you'd want to call your internet service provider or ISP. Um, let's assume for a minute this works and you still you open up Internet Explorer, you still can't surf the web. The next step will be to type in ping space www.yahoo.com. Now again, I'm getting a, a reply here. If you did not get a reply, um, then, uh, and again, I'm assuming that in the prior uh, where we pinged 4.2.2.2, you did get a reply. If you did not get a reply here, then that is a DNS uh, issue. If you're um, in an office environment, you'd want to talk to uh, whoever is handling your servers or equipment. If you're in a home environment, uh, something is messed up in your computer at that point um, because the DNS typically is handled by the computer in the home environment. Um, or it could be a setting in the router if you uh, programmed it yourself because uh, DNS can also be set up in the router. And um, if uh, you are able to ping here Yahoo and you do get four replies but you open up Internet Explorer and um, you still can't surf the internet then there's probably something wrong with the uh, Internet Explorer you could try resetting it I have a separate video that shows you how to reset Internet Explorer um, if resetting Internet Explorer does not work then you can look at your antivirus or firewall software because it may be blocking Internet Explorer from getting out um, because when you talk, when you ping www.yahoo.com and you get a reply back, you're talking to the internet and that connection is working fine. And um, that's basically it.